off the top at 5.30 behind bars. The Miami-Dade State Attorney announcing charges in an elderly exploitation case this afternoon. 48-year-old Nansky Nelson and an associate are accused of stealing $216,000 from their 97-year-old victim. That associate has not yet been caught. So let's get straight out to local tenants Annalise Garcia. She joins us live uh, from Miami with what was said about this crime alert at a news conference earlier today. Annalise, what are they saying? Well, that victim is since deceased. They do tell us that the son of this victim called this task force when he realized that her expenditures were unusual. That's when he brought in this team of people who goes after those who exploit the elderly. Natsky Nelson arrested for exploiting a 97 year old woman. The victim, Lorraine Latterman, who is since deceased, was sick. She had dementia. She needed professional assistance, so she hired Nelson as her aide and caregiver in 2017. Natsky Nelson plays an important role in this crime. Nelson preying on the vulnerable. She began stealing money from the victim. It appears that the use of the debit card for ATM withdrawals only occurred after Natsky began working for a victim. Latterman, a former financial advisor, described as frugal. Her son noticed her expenditures were unusual, so he called the Elder and Vulnerable Task Force for help. The victim's deteriorating health made it impossible, it was impossible for her to agree or to consent to any of these transactions or expenditures. The second man involved in this crime still on the run, Jose Pierre Toussaint. Jose Pierre Toussaint becomes involved in this crime in August of 2018 when he opens a business account with Square Inc. Nelson and Toussaint stole a total of $216,000 from the victim. Latterman died in 2012. Exploitation of the elderly, a common crime, according to these local leaders. So this multi-agency team is asking for your help. What the reality is that there are they're preying on the most frail of this community, and this is why we need your help in ensuring that if you see something, say something. So Nelson is behind bars facing some serious felony charges. Toussaint is still on the run, and police are looking for him. If you know anything or anybody uh, suffering from a crime like this, you are urged to call law enforcement. I'm live in Miami. Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.